Hello PlayStation fans! Today we are looking at the evolution of the Colin McRae Rally series that went on to become the Dirt series from 2007 onwards. Left three Titans two into caution, left one cut. The first game was heavily influenced by the arcade game Sega Rally. Colin McRae and his co-driver, Nicky Grist, voice themselves, as well as providing technical input on the game's car handling. The series was off to a strong start, with sales exceeding 4 million copies. New features include arcade mode with a direct head-to-head -head competition, as well as improved graphics with more detailed models and interiors. 17. Four left. Collins off of the PS1 now and tearing it up on the PS2. Left over crest and three right and three left. There's absolutely no consistency when it comes to naming this series. Many of the car's libraries are fictitious, as this is the first game in the series to drop the official World Rally Championship license. It's the five straight 50. The game's engine was revamped to allow for more realistic damage effects and blurred vision if the player comes into contact with hard objects. A new career mode was added where the player works their way up from the lower leagues to compete with Colin in his famed Nissan pickup. Colin was now on the PS3. This game had a brand new game engine which allowed new graphics, high quality audio and car physics. Colin McRae was sadly killed in a helicopter crash shortly after the release of the previous game. McRae's five-year-old son Johnny, as well as two family friends, also died in the crash. In 2008, he was posthumously inducted into the Scottish Sports Hall of Fame. This would be the last game in the series to feature Colin McRae's name. The game includes many new race events, including several inside a stadium. New features include a hardcore mode, which limits players to the cockpit view with no driver assists, the appearance of rain and snow, and the ability to upload replay clips directly to YouTube. Some smart maneuvers have our target looking good out there. This was an arcade-style spin-off that received very mixed reviews. Into left five tight, don't cut, 150. The game employs a different physics model from previous titles, built from scratch. Unlike the previous game, the developers wished to create a simulation rather than an arcade game. Tires bursts, radiators overheat, and you can frequently find yourself hobbling over the finish line. Hit two left, five long, 80, turn, acute left, and right. Dirt 4 introduces a new feature called Your Stage that procedurally generates rally stages based on a setting and parameters that the player defines. Around bales, 50 over crest. Six. The game is a continuation of the dedicated simulation of Dirt Rally as opposed to the emphasis on accessibility of Dirt 4. Finally, we have Dirt 5. This game was released in November 2020 for both the PS4 and as a launch title for the PS5. The game sheds all semblance of simulation in favour of full-on, beautiful, arcade-inspired racing. So, there we have it. 14 games since 1998 over all five PlayStation consoles. But which game of the series was your favourite? Let us know in the comments below, and thanks for watching.
For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to make sure you don't miss any videos in the future. Cheers!